Okay. Here we go. Thank you so much for coming. What an amazing turnout. My name is Leslie Nope. I am the Deputy Director of the Parks and Recreation Department. And tonight we're going to be taking some of your questions as... Hello? We're having a meeting in here. Does anybody have any questions about permits? We don't need palaces. The ideas are what shine in our meetings. What are you, some kind of moron? Why don't you have hand dryers in the park bathrooms? There's so much more sanitary than paper towels. Anyone knows that? My dog went to one of your parks and ate another dog's feces, and I'm going to sue you for that. Oh. How do you like it? Oh. Oh. No. How do you like that? Oh. Oh. Now imagine you're holding coffee. With the government shut down, who's going to stop Al-Qaeda? One thing at a time. I don't like obscenities j uh, just as much as you don't like no, them. No, it drives me crazy. I have kids. Right. But I've I... got my little three-year-old, I'm going through the park, and someone's like, hey, my and the guys, you my you dead. These people are members of a community that care about where they live. So what I hear when I'm being yelled at is people caring loudly at me. Nutrium's energy bars are just absolutely loaded with high fructose corn syrup and fatty oils. And any way you slice it, they're just extremely unhealthy for you. Leslie needs to butt out. The whole point of this country is if you want to eat garbage, balloon up to 600 pounds, and die of a heart attack at 43, you can. You are free to do so. To me, that's beautiful. Any questions? If sugar is so bad, how come Jesus made it taste so good? Uh, yes. But isn't all food bad for you? I've been eating lasagna and muffins every day of my life for 40 years, and I feel terrible. Right. What's so bad about corn syrup? It's natural. Corn's a fruit. Syrup comes from a bush. Oh, boy. How do we know you're really a nurse? I am. I promise. I work at St. Joe's. Well, the point is, my friend thinks you're cute. Give me your number so he can have it. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Can I have your email address? Oh I my just God. got on AOL. No. I think we ought to throw those bars out and eat ham and mayonnaise sandwiches. That's not a good idea. Ham and mayonnaise! Not, no. Ham and mayonnaise! No, no, no. Ham and mayonnaise! Ham and... So that's what today's forum is for. We're going to hear suggestions from everyone, and then whichever items we generally agree on will go into the time capsule. Please remember, this is a government project, so we need to refrain from corporate promotion and religious items. Who'd like to start? I think we should put in the Bible. Great. OK, anyone else? Yeah, if we put a tax on soda, I mean, what's next? Income? Sir, you don't pay your income tax? Whether or not I pay income tax is none of the government's business. No, well, no, actually it is. Well, you don't know my name or what I look like, so good luck finding me. Anyone else? Anyone? Uh, this gentleman wants to say something. No, I don't. Come on, Mel. You're always up in arms about something. No, I'm not. I'm not always up in arms about something. Here we go. That's the spirit. Talk to me about what's bothering you. Okay, are there any more recommendations for new games at the rec center? My daughter, she loves shoots and ladders. Oh, come on. There is no strategy to shoots and ladders. It's just luck. My daughter's five. Well, your daughter is an idiot. Her daughter is an idiot. Her daughter is an idiot. Oh. No. Her daughter no, is an idiot. It's the only park in our neighborhood. I mean, where are my kids supposed to play? The rock quarry? There's rocks in there. Why don't we just set fire to the fence, you know? Set it ablaze? That's arson. Well, let's leave that up to the lawyers. The point is, it would work. Why don't we build a fence around their fence? Why? It would give us two fences. So if they needed to get to their fence for maintenance and whatnot, their pants might get caught. Let the filibustering begin. I would now like to share some ideas I have for J.J. Abrams' seventh chapter in the Star Wars saga. Pan down from the twin sons of Tatooine, we are now close on the mouth of the Sarlacc pit. After a beat, the gloved Mandalorian armor gauntlet of Boba Fett grabs onto the sand outside the Sarlacc pit, and the feared bounty hunter pulls himself from the maw of the sand beast. I think we should tax all bad things, like racism and women's vaginas. We're not taxing anyone's genitals. So what the hell are we doing here? Come on, boys. 
Can everyone hear me okay? No. 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 Okay, great. I'm Councilwoman Leslie Nope, and today we are here to talk about safe sex. I know this is a personal question, but how many of you out there are sexually active? Oh my. I have two partners, often at the same time. Wow, thank you. Does anyone know what we risk when we have unprotected sex? Heart attack. Falling in love. Partner dies on top of you. Yes, but the truth is, the greatest risk you face is sexually transmitted diseases. Are these old people really having sex with each other? Yeah, what do you think they were doing? I don't know. We're just talking about it. <laughs> the best way to prevent them is to use protection. Well, that's all fine and good. But what if the banana is soft and mushy and dog legs sharply to the left? Oh. oh. If he holds the reality gem, that means he can jump from different realities. This will be our link to the Marvel Universe from the Star Wars Universe. All taxation is theft. If the government can tax me, I, I, can, I can do this. Grover, give that woman her purse back. There's a lot of pill bottles in here. Okay. Imagine those two going up against robot Chewbacca, because that's gonna happen. After a beat, Luke says, Darth Vader was my father, but Ben Kenobi was my master, and he cuts Hannibal Lecter in half. Okay, my name is Ron. You don't need to know my last name. Whoever wants to talk, go ahead, and we'll be out of here in a tight 15. I found a sandwich in one of your parks, and I want to know why it didn't have mayonnaise. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, yeah, I don't think kids should be allowed on the playground equipment. Okay, we've been over this. If you're worried about swine flu, use hand sanitizer. I'm not worried about swine flu. I already have the swine flu. I'm worried about the turtle flu. The turtle flu. Turtle flu. Turtle flu. Is this gonna be a topless park? I don't think there are topless parks. Well, let's build the first one and be heroes. If this is going to be a topless park, I won't sign your petition. If she's going to the topless park, I'm not signing the topless park petition. You know, I take that back. I'm still in. What's up? I'm Harris. Yeah, yeah. Forget whatever that uh, Pawnee Commons is. I'm with that pervert. Topless park. Topless park. Topless park. Topless park. Top Bjorn Lurpus of the Pawnee Lurpus family. There was supposed to be a paunch burger in this lot next to my house, and then you strip my freedom by putting a park there. Now if I want to start my day off with a triple-decker pancake breakfast pizza, I gotta go to the one that's 10 minutes away and that makes me 20 minutes late to work every day. I work at home. Have you ever considered not eating that for breakfast? I'll never consider that. School is out in two weeks. Mm -hmm. What am I going to do with my kids all day? Keep them in my house? <laughs> Where I live? I think the slogan should be Pawnee, home of crackers. The orangest goldfish in Indiana. Okie dokie. No. Let me write it down. Who even needs the slogan? Well, now that is an interesting point. No, that's my slogan idea. Who even needs a slogan and then a big picture of me flipping everybody off? Look, we don't know what the world is going to be like in 50 years. We, we could all have been wiped out from disease or the flu. So what's your suggestion? I don't know. I'm just scared. My idea for a slogan is, when you're here, then you're home. Well, that's lovely. I actually had it printed up so we could see what it would look like. Oh, you, mm, there's, that's, that's spelled wrong. That should be then, T-H-E-N. Stay strong, let them work it out, and trust Larry. Trust Larry. Are you even listening to yourself? I like that slogan a lot. But you made a little mistake there. Right. She's gonna, she's Sit. gonna work it out. Here, you're right, right. Yeah, back off. Your was spelled wrong. It should be Y-O-U-R. Oops, I didn't catch it, thank you. My grandmother lived in Pawnee for 60 years, and. I want to put her ashes in the time capsule. My cat, Turnip, was the greatest cat ever. And I'd like to put his ashes in the time capsule. For the last time, and I won't say this again, there will be no human or feline ashes in either one of the time capsules. Except for Turnip. Except for Turnip. No chanting. Can we see the condom demonstration again? Because I don't know where Lou has been. Well. I wish I, I, I could, but I... Oh, screw it. Okay, here. This is a penis, right? You put a condom on it, and you pull the tip like this, and you roll it all the way down the penis. Tell you what, condoms for everybody. Who wants some? Safe sex for everybody. Hey! Hey, who wants to party?